So now let's talk about common loss functions in TensorFlow and Keras. So the first one is mean squared error or MSE. And suppose that for a regression problem, these are the actual values and these are the predicted values. And we want to calculate the difference or let's say you want to calculate the error in this prediction. So in order to calculate this, so first of all, we should calculate uh, the error or let's say the difference between the actual value and the prediction value. And we should raise that to the power of two. So this is error to the power of two. So it is called the squared error. And then we are summing all of these errors and we are dividing by n. As a matter of fact, we are taking the average of these errors, of these squared errors. So this is called mean squared error. So for this specific example, so first of all, we should calculate y minus y hat. So 2 minus 4, it is minus 2 to the power of 2, plus 3 minus 3 to the power of 2, plus 1 minus 1 to the power of 2, plus 7 minus 6 to the power of 2, divided by the number of values, which are 4. So as a matter of fact, you can see this is the mean, or let's say the average, of squared errors. So it is called MSE. And if you calculate all the stuff, you can see the result is 1.25. But now let's talk about another loss function for the regression problem. So as you can see, first of all, we should calculate the error, and then we should calculate the absolute value of that error. So it is called the absolute error. And then we are taking the average of these absolute errors. So it is called mean absolute error, or MAE. And you can see in this example, it is the absolute value of minus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus the absolute value of 6 divided by 4, which is equal to 0 0.75. So now let's talk about the binary binary cross entropy, which is used for a binary classification. So suppose that we have two data. The actual label for the first data is 1, class 1, and the actual label for the second data is 0. And these are the probabilities of belonging to class 1. So you can see the probability of belonging to class 1 for the first data is 0 0.9 and the probability of belonging to the class 1 for the second data is 0 0.2. So now in order to calculate the binary cross entropy, we should use this formula. And this formula says that for each data, for each data, you should calculate this, which you can see it is y sub i times the natural log of y hat sub i plus 1 minus y sub i times the natural log of 1 minus y hat sub i. So in order to better understand this, let's take this example, which we have two data, and this is a specific example. So we can see the calculations for the first data is denoted by purple, and the calculations for the second data is denoted by blue. So for the first data, you can see the actual label as 1 and the prediction value is 0.9. So let's calculate that. So in order to do so, we can see it is the actual label, which is 1 times the natural log of the prediction value, which is 0.9, plus 1 minus the actual label times the natural log of 1 minus the prediction value. But for the second data, you can see yi, I mean the actual label, is 0, and y hat sub i, I mean the prediction value, is 0 0.2. So let's calculate that. You can see it is the actual label, which is 0, times the natural log of the prediction value, which is 0 0.2, plus 1 minus the actual value times the natural log of 1 minus the prediction value. And after calculating all of these terms, we should multiply all the stuff by minus 1 divided by n. And n is the number of data. So you can see in this specific example, we have two data. So n is 2. So we multiply all the stuff by minus 1 divided by 2. So if you calculate all of these values, you can see the final result is approximately 0 0.16. So now let's talk about the categorical cross entropy. Suppose that we have a picture, and based on this picture, we want to detect whether this picture is a cat or a dog or other animals. For example, if we have a picture of horse, you can see the actual label is not cat, it is not dog, but it's other animals. So the actual label is denoted like this which this format is called one hot, 
vector format because you can see this is a vector and we have one corresponding to the actual label and for example suppose that our model has predicted these probabilities for each class so for example this is the probability of being cat this is the probability of being dog and this is the probability of being other animals and in order to calculate the categorical cross entropy we should use this formula which i'm going to explain that by an example so for this specific example, we can see that this yi is zero, this is zero, but this is not zero. So we should multiply yi, which is not zero, I mean this one, times the natural log of the corresponding prediction value. The corresponding prediction value is 0 0.95. So we can see yi, which is not zero, I mean one, times the natural log of the corresponding prediction value which is 0 0.95. So this is the calculations for the first data. So you can see our first data is this, and you can see this is the calculation for the first data. And now suppose that we have another data like this, which you can see this is the true one hat vector, and these are the prediction values. So in order to calculate this, you can see we should multiply this value times the natural log of the corresponding probability, which is 0 0.1. And that's it. And if I calculate this, you will get this value. And now we can see the formula says that we should calculate the average. You can see it is 1 divided by n. So it means that we should take the average. So these are the values for each data. This is the value for data 1. This is the value for data 2. And we should take the average, which is this value. So this is how to calculate the categorical cross entropy. But now let's talk about another thing, which is available in TensorFlow. Let's talk about another function, which is called Called sparse categorical cross entropy which is used in tensorflow and keras so you can see so far we have talked about the true one hat vector and also the prediction values and also how to calculate the categorical cross entropy but now we can show the actual label using another format which is called label encoded format so we can see this is the one hat vector format but you can see the corresponding label as two because the corresponding value for class two as one the other values are zeros. So you can see the corresponding label for this one hat vector is two, and also the corresponding label for this one hat vector is two as well. So as a matter of fact, this format is called label encoded format, and this format is called the one hat vector format. So instead of the one hat vector, if you use the label encoded format in order to calculate the categorical cross entropy, then you should use the sparse categorical cross entropy function in TensorFlow and Keras. This is the only difference between categorical cross entropy and sparse categorical cross entropy. In categorical cross entropy in TensorFlow, you're using the one hat vector format, but in sparse categorical cross entropy, you are using the label encoded format. So now let's summarize what we have discussed so far. For regression problem, the common loss functions are MSE and MAE, but MSE is more famous and we usually use MSE. But for binary classification, the common loss function is binary cross entropy for multi-class classification problem. Uh, the common loss function is categorical cross entropy or the sparse categorical cross entropy in TensorFlow and Keras. But here is a question that you may ask, and the question is, do we have other loss functions as well? And the answer is, of course, we have tons of other loss functions, which I will do my best to cover some of those loss functions in future parts of this deep learning with TensorFlow and Keras tutorial series. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.